What's up, everybody? It's me, Brandon Green from Gold Element Auto Works. Today, I am working on my wife's 2014 Mercedes S550 Ford Matic. Uh, she's been getting a code. A check engine light has come on. It is uh, the P0367 and P0366. This is the camshaft position sensor circuit B. Now, you have in the front of the engine on both sides, driver and passenger, you have two camshaft position sensors. This one and this one held on by this right there. I think that's a, uh, I'm not gonna guess. It's a T40, I don't know what that is, but whatever. Held on by this right here. All right, this was unplugged because I'll show you why. And this was unplugged and I'll show you why. Now on this side, this is the passenger side, you have the same setup here. You have one right there and another right there. Now these two right here are magnetic sensors that's related to the chain. You have them both right here and right here. The code though, you see one, it's right there kind of tucked. Uh, the code though is not these, it's these. Now you can replace those or you can open them up or disconnect them. And you typically will find that you have oil on the actual connector. Yep, I don't know how, but you have oil. I know how, I explain. So when you start getting fault codes from these right here, it could mean that these are bad but it also could mean something else. The reason why these are dis disconnected, I unplugged these is because I found oil all over the connection, right up in here. It was oil all over that. So that oil will cause it to short out. And you'll get the faulty connection. Uh, the oil, I guess, is conductive and it causes those sensors to not read properly. Uh, to remove these, I've already done this one. You push this clip back and then you use it as leverage to push down like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Where my finger at? Use it as leverage to push down like that. You'll feel the click and you just simply unplug it while pushing it down just like that. Okay. So look at that oil right there. Woo, look at that. See? That's a problem that caused it to short. Now, how is oil getting onto the connection? That sounds crazy. Well, because oil obviously is seeping up in here. And how is it doing that? Because the O-ring that is between this uh, sensor and the engine itself is uh, compromised. Over time, that O-ring hardens, it's rubber. Over time, it hardens and uh, it no longer creates a good seal. So it allows the pressure, and this is only when the engine is operational, when it's running rather, when it's, in, uh, uh, when it's operating. Uh, it builds up enough pressure where that oil will go past that O-ring and will uh, reach the connector, right? The plug. So that's an issue. These I recommend replacing or just get new O-rings. The sensor itself is probably good, but the O-rings are compromised. I bet you have the same issue here, let's see. Oh, come on, baby. I'm trying not to do it this way. Get out of the way. There we go. Let's see. Is there oil? Yep. You see my point? That's not good with any connector. Uh, uh, anytime you have electrical or electricity or current flowing through something, you don't want any type of oil or liquid that increases the risk of conductivity and shorting out. And so that's what's obvious, obviously occurring here is that it's not reading. My words are a little slurred today because it's kind of chilly out here. It's kind of cold here in Cincinnati, Ohio. It was just hot last week and I was wearing shorts. Now it's cold. So what do, what do you do about that? All right, I already told you that you replace those O-rings right there. 
But for the time being, I am going to use Mass Airflow Sensor uh, Cleaner, and I'm going to clean this out, remove the oil from that, and the oil from this just temporarily until I get these ordered, and I'll install some new ones, uh, some new sensors and new O-rings, and that will resolve it. Or like I said, I can just do the O-rings, but it, uh, in my case, I'll likely just order the whole new sensor. But uh, that's the issue there. And that's how you resolve it. And uh, these right here, you can buy the kit that comes with these magnetic sensors as well as the camshaft position sensors. And uh, if you do that, that's probably a good thing because if you look closely, there's a lot of oil build up down there. So likely this is also compromised, the O-ring. It probably is already allowing oil to to, to blow by it as well. And so that's why you have some buildup down there. So consider that with your, uh, well, this is the 5.5 liter, um, like I said, 2014 S550. So I'm sure it's the same with their 450 motors as well. The newer motors that Mercedes uses for the newer vehicles, this is probably a common issue. So give that some attention if you get that uh, code, that check engine light. So if you get that code, if you get that check engine light associated with that code, then consider changing that out, that camshaft position sensor. Uh, consider the O-rings, consider the connections, see what the issue is, and resolve it. There you go.